I mean, I think uh, it's interesting, like how all these things like come full circle. But I was talking to this guy who's a he's a leadership coach. I'm doing I'm working out of this co-working space with him. He's actually he and another dude are partnering together. His name's Alan Briggs, just great dude. But anyways, he introduced this term or he just said it and I'm crediting him to it. But he leads these experience trips occasionally. And he was talking about guided solitude. Like all of us need solitude, but left to our own devices in this own world of distraction and just a lot of content and information, our mind will go wherever it goes. It'll hop just from thing to thing to thing. Whereas if we try to take an intentional approach with guided solitude, where we're being pushed out, we have an objective and going out on a trail in ring the springs everybody has an objective a different distance it's going to be very taxing for them but there is a clear start and there's a clear finish and then they're coming back home and in that interim space when they're out there it is technically guided there is a path that they need to follow and there would be people along the way to give them aid but it is their effort one foot in front of the other that is going to get them home and it's just like a, a fascinating thing for me. So like guided solitude, I was like, dang, that's really good. Like that's what we all need. And it takes a community approach, but we need to do it on our own. Like the the work is self-propelled, if you will. I don't I don't know. Seems like guided that might solitude. Be another value. It yeah. might be another value. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guided solitude also seems to be the practicing for the real thing. It's like we're yeah. doing this race and it's a more of a guided solitude because there is a path. But at some point in our lives, whether we choose it or whether it's chosen for us, we will be called to enter the woods at the darkest place where there is no path. And the more we practice this guided solitude, the more we go and run on a path that is set for us, even when it's difficult, the more prepared we will be when we arrive at that dark place in the woods and know that we must enter where there is no path. Thanks, Joseph Campbell. You're welcome. <laughs>